Hello, and welcome to Impera Project, a project built on a dream. Last time we made a small classification of different types of philosophy. If you haven't seen the video, we will link it here. We hope you will find it interesting. Today we want to talk about measure, in particular measure of efforts. Life is a struggle, a struggle in which we are all caught. Every day you have to wake up and go on with your business, study, work, but sometimes you might find yourself at a crossroads. Working too much might make you forget how to live, and life is for living. Don't worry, such situations are completely normal. But in the end, how do you know exactly how much is enough? Maybe you have an exam and you are not quite confident about the amount of time you spend studying. Or you ask yourself if you are putting in too much effort and get too small of a reward in exchange. Well, we want to provide you an answer to this question. Today, we are going to talk about the law of Pareto, or the rule 80-20. Who was Wilfredo Pareto? He was an Italian economist. He noticed that 80% of the Italian land belonged to 20% of the population. Later, he developed this idea into a new one. While studying his own garden, he reached an unexpected conclusion. That 20% of the pea plants produced 80% of the harvest. Joseph M. Juran, an engineer and economist with Romanian roots, introduced this principle, named after Wilfredo Pareto, extending it into many other domains. For example, 80% of the income of a company comes from 20% of its clients. 80% of the bugs can be found in 20% of the code, but it also found use in advanced mathematics, the Pareto distribution. But how is this helping you in life? Well, we think it's quite obvious, but if you are struggling, we will put it like this. 20% of the causes produce 80% of the results. So if you don't know if you are putting in too much or not enough time, effort, resources, remember the law of Pareto.